All right, this is a tutorial video for the small stellate dodecahedron. Uh, the first thing you need is an extendable dodecahedron, which I just did a tutorial video for. This is the same one as in that video. Um, so if you don't have one of these yet, go watch that video of mine and you'll see how to make one and then you'll have one. For now, I'm going to set it aside though, so I can show you how to build these points and you need 12 of them. I already built 11. They have five sides, um, unlike the three-sided points, which I use for the great stellated dodecahedron. And like I said, you need 12 of them. And I'm going to show you the last one while I build it. Move that out of the way, because I don't need it yet. Um, so what you need are five of these long straight pieces, which are 11 magnets long at the top. And the way you make those is it's a ring of 22 magnets, well, two rings of 22 magnets stacked on top of each other that you just smash down into a long straight piece, which, again, 11 magnets long on the top. And you need five of them. So then you also need a pentagonal bipyramid or a decahedron, which you make by a small one, which you make by first making a small pentagon, ring like that, then you make a slightly larger pentagon, and then you make one more pentagon that's larger still, just like that. And you take this, that way and put it inside of that. So you end up with this and you see there's a hole in the middle. And then you add that onto the next one. Now if you're trying to scale this up or scale this down, you can make these longer or shorter, but this is always this size. There's four magnets on the edge. So, now what you do is you take these, and you see that one solitary magnet on the end, and you're going to peel that off, just like you did with the extendable dodecahedron. Just stick that on that chain there, get rid of it. And this is going to attach to the side of this. Uh, oh, polarity's backwards. Um, just like that. That's what it looks like on the underside. And so you're going to want to do that with all five legs. And with this last one, you may need to kind of push it in to where it touches that pentagon in the middle, because the just to make room for it. OK. Now flip it back around, and what you're going to want to do next is take a chain and take away the five magnets on the outside corner. Just like that. Next thing you want to do is take away the five magnets that form a little ring on the very tip. Just like that. Now you want to take away five more magnets that you can see there's kind of a raised lip that forms a pentagon around the outside. And you don't want to take away the corners of that pentagon. You want to leave the corners. What you want to take away are the ones that are in the middle of each edge. So just like that. And again, and again. Last one. You want to be careful at this point because it's very fragile. Then you need another little pentagon, which you're going to put back. And it's going to kind of show it a little bit closer. These free floating corners here, you see. And you want it to put on like that. And as you set it down, the other ones are going to kind of snap in towards it. and finish it off. 
And the reason you want to do all that stuff to the tip is to strengthen it up. Because if you just left it with the decahedron on top, it's very weak and liable to fall apart. But this way it's not. And now you have 12 of them. And the next thing you want to do is take your extendable dodecahedron here and we're going to add a couple of short extensions on it. Um, this, by the way, is a tube of six magnets. It's 40 rings long. And we're going to cut it up into little sections that are only two tall. And we're only going to use 10 of them for now. And what you want to do is you want to put one on each corner of this extendable dodecahedron so that they stack on top of the hexagon here. But in a meshed way, not in a stacked way. And with the 10 that you've taken off, you want to put one on every corner of three adjacent uh, faces. Okay, so these three faces are like that now. And now what you want to do is take uh, three of these and add them on and the leg is going to pop in just like that. And you want it to do that to all five sides, just like that. So add the other two on real quick. And now that you have three of them, you want to kind of carefully flip it over so that it's resting on those three. And you want to take the last ten of those and you can go ahead and add them on now. And finally, you want to take the remaining nine of these and add one on each face. And there you go. This is a small stellated dodecahedron. And you may notice that it looks a little different from the one that I made in the video, or the, the one that I had made the first time around. Uh, mostly the connections here are a little bit different. But I discovered this way after I did it that time, and I like this better. It's stronger and it, in my opinion, looks nicer. And so there you go, the small stellated dodecahedron.